Welcome to Lesson Gems. Today we're talking about 1 Nephi 6 through 7. Before we jump into the lesson, I want to just look at this week, uh, this week's overview, covering chapters 6 through 10. I'll be talking about the first lesson of the week here in just a second, but we've also got an acquiring spiritual, spiritual knowledge lesson this week. Two lessons from Lehi's dream, one that's going to focus on feeling the joy of God's love and the Savior's atonement as well as um, helping our students use the Word of God to guide them in their lives and receive blessings. And there is the last lesson in chapter 10 in the very beginning of chapter 11 that talks about how to seek knowledge from the Lord. So you've got a variety of topics this week. Many of you will have a holiday with Martin Luther King Day on Monday, so you may only teach four lessons. So you'll be selecting four out of these five lessons as you Decide what's most relevant and most important for your class. 1 Nephi 6-7 through is a lesson that focuses on the purposes of the Book of Mormon and really applying that to our students' personal study and reading of the Book of Mormon. Um, we identify the purposes of the Book of Mormon by reading 1 Nephi 6 verses 3-6. through and they're going to find that Nephi's writings were meant to persuade us to come to Jesus Christ and contained only the things that are pleasing to God. As we teach each day in seminary, we really want our lesson to be comprised of three components. We want it to be Christ-centered. We want it to be scripture-based and learner-focused. And when those three come together, it can really lead to deep conversion. So in this lesson, Nephi is saying, I'm only writing about things that bring people to Jesus Christ. So obviously we've got an element of being Christ-centered. We're looking in the scriptures for the purposes of the Book of Mormon. But I've got a couple of ideas about how we can perhaps make sure that this lesson really is learner focused In this lesson, we're really focusing on relevance to students' lives by asking if they feel their study of the Book of Mormon is helping them come closer to Jesus Christ. Why or why not? So this may be a good opportunity for you to review with your students their reading goals and to really help them adjust them and make them more powerful so that they're really something that's bringing them closer to Jesus Christ. Some ideas might be not just setting a time limit, but also um, looking at a goal of finding Jesus Christ in every chapter they read or keeping a journal and writing about the insights they're learning about their Savior, or writing down impressions they're receiving and how following those impressions is making a difference in their life and bringing them closer to God and Jesus Christ. So there's a variety of things they could add to their scripture study that could make it more powerful and bring them to Jesus Christ. Um, another activity in this lesson that I really like is to use 1 Nephi chapter 7 as kind of a case study about how to improve your scripture study and focus on Jesus Christ. So we're going to divide this chapter into three parts, and that's done here in the lesson, the first five verses, and then there's a section here in the middle, and then the last six verses of the chapter. Each of these parts focuses on a different part of the story with Nephi and his brothers going back to find wives in the first part, Laman and Lemuel binding Nephi and then leaving him to die in the wilderness, but Nephi exercising faith and the Lord delivering him. And the last one is about Nephi forgiving his brothers for the fact that they attempted to kill him. So kind of a forgiveness theme. You would use this activity as listed here in the lesson and just have the students look for anything that pleases God or helps us come into Christ, which is the purpose of Nephi's writing from chapter 6. So as they go through this activity... They're going to find insights. This can be done in groups. This can be done individually. And then they're going to share what they learned from their study. And you're going to ask them to reflect on how their scripture study could improve if they approached their individual study this way, looking for things that um, they can learn about Jesus Christ or things that please God. Now, that's one way that this lesson could be relevant to your students, but it's possible that there's other lessons in 1 Nephi chapter 7 that might be more relevant. And this supplemental material has a few ideas. 
First of all, we could focus on the doctrine of the family, kind of that first section of chapter seven, the first five verses. There's a, a few resources provided here, uh, a talk from Julie Beck that's really good and a video, as well as if you look even a, f a little bit further down, there's this idea uh, here about how to emphasize the doctrine of the family from this lesson. If focusing on the family would be more relevant to your students than a lesson that really focuses on the principles of scripture study, going that direction might be more powerful for your students. A third thing that might be powerful for them is that whole story about forgiving others that have wronged us. So again, as you prepare your lesson, you might think about your students. Are some of them struggling to forgive? Is there some contention in their lives and things they need to let go? If so, focusing on that part of the story where Nephi's brothers try to kill him and then he is delivered and forgives them, along with this quote from Elder Holland, might be more relevant to your students. But think about what would make this lesson most relevant to my students. Making it a lesson that focuses on scripture study and improving our scripture study, a lesson that focuses a little more on the doctrine of the family and why that's so important, or a lesson that helps us to see why forgiveness is an important principle and will bring us closer to Jesus Christ. Have a great time and we'll see you next week.